So one thing that I didn't like with a lot of the wooden bows that I saw out there is like when you look at it from this angle, a lot of the wooden bows were very, very bulky through here. And uh, now I know that mass probably makes a better shooting bow. Um, the mass that's on this metal, it's, it's pretty good. It's even though it doesn't, it's not, you know, it doesn't feel that heavy. I really don't know how much it weighs in ounces or anything like that, but um, you get used to it. It's certainly, certainly a lot heavier than this snake. That's for certain. Um, now, one thing that the snake has right here is these little notches. And I had kind of gotten really used to using these notches to help figure out the gap. Um, so if you're shooting gap style, these notches definitely helped um, for aiming. Uh, this bow is not gonna have anything of the sort. So I have been shooting this bow much more instinctively only because uh, I haven't really figured out a, a really good aiming method for this yet. Um, I've been getting, doing okay, uh, but from the distance I'm shooting, I'm probably shooting at about maybe 10 to 20 feet. Um, so I've been having to focus and look, you know, through the higher point of the riser in order to bring my uh, arrows uh, to my target point. Um, and one thing that I noticed immediately compared to shooting this, um, you know, this, this snake is that all my arrows flew a lot faster with a lot more pop and a lot straighter. And, uh, the amount of power coming off of the bow was, you know, pretty darn surprising. And it took some getting used to, um, that the snake is definitely much more forgiving uh, but if you shoot off target with this one boy that that arrow can go sailing okay so back to these string silencers so the original one that came in the package uh, oh, where's it at here ah, here we go it's pretty big it's pretty thick so when I had it wrapped around my bow I had you know a big huge amount of puff and at the time I didn't think that uh, I could get used to that um, it unraveled and came loose quite a bit so I've watched a ton of videos on YouTube on how to uh, try to you know get them all nice and snug and I saw one video for beaver balls and I noticed that the strips were a lot thinner. So I decided that I would try to cut these in half um, to make the strips skinnier and make these puffs smaller. I don't recommend that. Um, so I've got these on. While they work, you can tell they just don't look very attractive and I think in attempting to cut off uh, or you know cut the strips in half I think I lost a lot of the fur and that's why it's pretty puffy on this end and not so puffy on this end so I don't recommend it just you know if you want to use the silencers um, keep them whole and uh, because of that um, I had to place an order for a new set of silencers uh, granted, you don't have to use them, but I think after I shot them with them on, I prefer the sound a heck of a lot better. And I do a lot of practicing in my backyard, so the quieter that I can keep it, um, here in California, a lot of the homes are really, really close together. So I wanted to keep my bow quiet just for that, um, just for my own sanity. Um, I'm not a hunter, so... Um, you know, 
arrow speed and and you know silence in terms of hunting you know that's it's that's not what i'm um you know looking for silence for <laughs> um i'm doing i'm looking for silence mostly just you know to not uh drive my neighbors crazy with constant bow noise in the backyard um so long shot here it's got a very very nice shape nice lines to it and i highly recommend it now uh, I think the other issue that I had here was that um, attempting to find a place to buy this bow. Um, even uh, eBay, uh, they had like the 17 uh, inch versions and I think uh, quite a few of them had the F-161 which was the version of this bow that came out this is the the more upgraded modern f261 so i guess the difference is there is that this now comes in uh, uh 17 19 and 21 inch risers where the original one only came in 17 and other than that i really don't know if there is any other upgrades to it um, from what I'm told, this is a, a machined riser. I don't know a whole heck of a lot about archery manufacturing to, you know, really tell you if that's good or not. <laughs> um, but, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and skip forward to, uh, some shooting videos, but overall I like it. Oh yeah. Uh, back to, um, back to where to purchase it. So I couldn't find it on eBay. Um, some online hunting around uh, had me looking at Alibaba, AliExpress, those kinds of websites. And if you've seen how they describe a lot of their bows there, I couldn't tell if the bow that I was getting was going to definitely be the one that I really wanted because they throw in so many tag words there in order for your your search to bring them to their page, I couldn't trust them. And, uh, you know, again, I, I'd never made any purchases off of them, so I don't know what kind of, uh, you know, guarantees or safety factors there are. Um, so I just happened to look up uh, the Yunsing Archery Facebook page and started reading through some of the posts there and I noticed that some people were reaching out to them directly on Facebook um, and working out deals to get the bows there. So I decided to do the same thing and um, so once I started talking with the rep there, um, they helped me kind of narrow down uh, you know, the specs that I wanted for this bow, you know, the size limbs. Um, by the way, I got uh, the medium, mediums in 35 pound, 21 inch riser. So all in all, it creates a 64 inch bow. Um, with this riser and short limbs, I can go to 62 inches. And with long limbs, I can go to 66 inches. So. I kind of liked that because it kind of puts me a little bit more into target shooting territory, which is probably where I'll be spending most of my time unless uh, somebody out there <laughs> wants to show me the ropes on hunting because um, I don't know the first thing about it. Um, always been interested, but uh, just never had, uh, never had somebody to, uh, to get me into it. So... Let's go ahead and skip to the shooting videos.